All right, here's my first look at my newly supercharged R8. Ooh. Oh, that looks nice and clean. That does look nice and clean. Hey. So any any problems in the installation? Anything weird? No, it all went pretty pretty well. Um, you know, you just gotta take your time and a lot of tedious stuff, but mm -hmm. it was it went pretty 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 easy. It wasn't too bad. No problems really. And uh, were the are the intake filters changed over stock? Uh, no, they're still the same stock air filters. Oh okay. Um. Was there any change to the uh, transmission software, TCU? Um, I do not believe so. I believe it was still stock software for TCU. Okay. Change, change both ECMs. Um, had to, yeah, had to take both those out and unlock them to even get to them to program. Yeah. And so, does that mean now they're perpetually unlocked and? You, um, they're, they, to tune them again, you just still have to pull them out and take the covers off. To, oh, they really? Well, you can't, yeah, I don't think you'd be able to tune them to the point. But uh, when you guys were uh, doing the fine tuning on the software, uh, pretty was much, that being done through the port? Yeah, we didn't do much fine tuning. Um, you pretty much took it out and just, Looked at all the measuring value box for the fuel pressure, um, time in advance, uh -huh. um, and we just were making sure that uh, when we were driving it at certain times, the time in advance was advancing to the, the right amount of degrees it was supposed to, and then going back down. Uh -huh. So, and then we were checking the fuel pressure, make sure we had enough fuel pressure under uh -huh. load, and uh, the duty cycle of the injectors to make sure the injectors were um, correcting. For the supercharger, the more air the supercharger was putting through. Oh, okay. So he was basically just reading measuring watts yeah, from make sure the OBD2 port. The tune mm -hmm. went through correctly and yeah. was adjusting it to what it needed to be. Uh huh. So it was just the one pull of the chips and then sealing them up and re reinstalling them? Yeah. That's it? Yep. Uh, they are sealed up nice and watertight yep. in case this needed to be washed or something? Yeah, yeah. We put the. Uh, okay. More RTV sealing all around the edges okay. and push them back together so they're sealed up tight. Excellent. I mean, there's where the connectors are, it's even stock, you're not, they're not going to be sealed completely, but we never, yeah. as, if you're washing it, it's not that big a deal. Okay. They're on the sides, just don't, and down those vents, don't pump it right here, because they're under here. So don't dump like gallons of water down there, I guess. Yeah, so yeah. You'll be fine though. Yeah, okay. But you did get some sealant on that, yeah. on the box for Yeah, we resealed it okay. all the way around. Because it comes right. sealed and then we just reseal yeah. it. All right. And we got some the other parts for you. Um, oh yeah. You can probably take everything. Uh, the intakes are kind of big, so I don't know if you want to.